So hello everybody and welcome back. Into this video we're actually going to do a DAX video even though it's Tuesday. But it is because I am going to show you how to conditional format a line chart. And in order to be able to do that we need to do some DAX first and we're going to do it using Charticulator. So I'll show you that on my second channel, okay, tomorrow. But we need to do some DAX first, so it's got to be done now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so what we want to achieve is this, to be able to pick different stuff in here and conditional format whatever gets selected, okay? It works beautifully. This is done using, again, Charticulator. I will show you my second channel. So how do we do this? So there is one trick that we need to do that is not very good, but it's the only way to do it. Let me show you. So. I'm going to recreate what I did there, and I'm going to show you the DAX first. So I have here the sales, this is the Northwind data set that we always use. So I have the year, the sales, and the category name from the category, that's the normal one. And then I have duplicated the category um, column, so we are able to slice without filtering, <laughs> I'll show you. So this is the category table. I have two copies. You can see that are completely the same, right? So this is the slicer one. So the reason why I have this is because when I click on here, I, I just drop the category from the category slicer table. I don't want this table to filter. The only reason, the only thing I want to do with this is to grab whatever the user is clicking on. And this is the only way to do it. So let me show you, if I, let's just start creating our measure. So we're going to call it selected country, okay? So you probably know this if you've been doing DAX for a while, in order to be able to pick up the a value that is selected, there is a measure or a function called selected value. And then we're going to put the category from the slicer table, so the duplicated one, we're going to get the category name. So I want to know what is being clicked. And this is the way to do it. You just select the value, you put it in here, put it as a card, and you see that whatever I click in here, it, it is passed in there, which is beautiful, right? So one thing out of the way, we have a value, we know what the user clicked in so we can grab it. The next thing we need to do is obviously to if somebody picks dairy products in here, Charticulator, what allows us to do is conditional format based on a value. So I'm, this measure is going to generate a yes or a no to let us know if something has been clicked. So if dairy products has been clicked, the measure will return a yes where dairy products exist. To do that, we're going to convert this into a variable, selected probably zoom in country equal, this is our variable. Not every time you have variable, you have to use a return. So, so now we have a function or a variable that lets us know what has been clicked. And then it is an easy uh, DAX if you do if uh, selected value for the category, for the true category table, not the duplicated one. So category is category name, is equal to whatever has been selected, which is grab on the variable, then write a yes, otherwise a no. And th this column is what will allow us to, you know, conditional format on Charticulator. So if I put this in here, you will see that whatever I select here, let's pick beverages, you see, it gives me a yes, otherwise it gives me a no. There is a small but with this, and it is that if I choose a second one, everything is no, <laughs> because this picks just one value. I've showed you before in previous videos that if you use in, you can grab multiple values from a slicer. So if I put in here in, okay, it will grab multiple values, but you're going to get an error. It says the function expects a table but instead you're returning an, a value, one value, instead of a table, a value. And in does not allow that. So you need to do a small change. This is quite cool. So 
I told you before, but let's remind us ourselves. Selected value returns a value while, let me show you, values returns a table. So it does the same thing, but it returns more than one value, which is really, really useful. So selected value is basically syntax sugar for if has one value. So now that we have values, and now that we have a table, these values will collect all the fields that we pick in the selector, and it will pass it to in that it needs a table. So it will turn a table of all the values. And in that way, look at that. Yeah? We can actually pick. And now we're going to use this column to conditional format the line into articulator. Again, I'll show you that tomorrow on my second channel, Curva Data Labs. It's really, really cool. There are a few bads though, so I, I want to be, <laughs> I want to show you everything. It, it works, but not perfect. But tomorrow.